On March 14, the Free Russian Legion, which announced that it had entered the territory of Russia's Korsk region, blew up and destroyed two ammunition depots belonging to the Russian army in Tetkino village of the region. The images were shared on the Telegram channel of the Legion. Legion fighters also released a video of the destruction of two armored fighting vehicles belonging to the invading Russian army on the border. It should be noted that on March 13, the Free Russian Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps, and the Siberian Battalion, which are part of the Ukrainian army, warned that they would again enter the territory of Belgorod in Korsk and conduct an operation. They demanded the provincial administration to evacuate the local population. Currently, it is said that the shooting continues in Korsk and Belgorod regions. Russia produces three times more shells than US and Europe for Ukraine war. Russia produces almost three times as much artillery ammunition as the United States and Europe combined, according to Western intelligence estimates. CNN and representatives of Western intelligence agencies reported this. According to NATO intelligence, estimates regarding Russian defense production, the Russian Federation is capable of producing about 250,000 artillery shells per month or about 3 million per year. Together, the United States and Europe can only produce about 1.2 million rounds of ammunition a year to be sent to Ukraine, a European intelligence official told the TV channel. Officials say that Russia is now firing 10,000 shells a day, while Ukraine can only manage 2,000. Representatives of a European intelligence report that the ratio is even worse in some parts of the contact line. The number one issue that we're watching right now is the munitions because that's where Russia really is mounting a significant production advantage and mounting a significant advantage on the battlefield. The NATO representative added, the source of the TV channel says artillery factories in the Russian Federation are working around the clock. In addition, Russia imports ammunition from Iran and North Korea. According to Western estimates, Iran sent at least 300,000 artillery shells last year, probably more than that. And North Korea provided at least 6,700 ammunition containers that contained millions of shells. Russia put everything they have in the game, an intelligence official said. Their war machine works in full gear, the source added. At the same time, according to US and Western officials, the buildup of Russian weapons is still insufficient to meet its needs. In addition, Western intelligence agencies do not expect Russia to make significant progress on the battlefield in the short term. Officials say there is a limit to Russian production capacity, adding that Russian plants are likely to hit peak production sometime next year. Thank <laughs> you.